Hi, uh, in this screencast we are going to talk about the C in CSS. We know all know that the uh, the full form for CSS stands uh, is cascading style sheets. Now, cascading. Why do we call it cascading? Now, you see, in CSS there there is a tree. There is a there is a, this priority order that is followed. So that's why we call it cascading so that for example uh, similar to math we in, in math you know that we have higher priority given to brackets and then we go on to multiplication and division and then plus minus and so on so similar to that in uh, in CSS the one at the top is given highest priority and then if that is not there then it goes to the the next one and then it goes to the next one until it reaches the bottom so that's why it goes from the top to the bottom that means it cascades from the top to the bottom and that's why it's called a cascading style sheet now let's begin with uh, what these terms mean actually first and then we start looking at the order now, the first one is uh, let's start from the bottom by well, defining each of them is browser default now, every browser has a specific style applied to the element as you can see over here in my sample I have put the say I'm using the same uh, list that I used for the previous screencast uh, an unordered list within a div tag with some uh, with some values with some list items over here now if you can see over here if we go back you'll see that by default the color is set to black and then the list style type is actually a circle now who who this is actually defined by default for a browser these are called browser defaults so that means it is the last one so if none of them is defined it fall back to what is defined for the browser by default one step above it we have inherited inherited in CSS uh, as we saw in the previous uh, previous screencast that any web page that goes to that comes to a browser is constructed in the form of a tree so over here you see body is the root element inside that I have the div within the div I have ul and within the ul I have three items which is li so this is like a tree where we have parents and children we saw that in the previous one how we can define selectors to select specific children of parents or siblings within that tree so since this is parent and child relationship as we all know from object oriented programming that any style anything that can be applied to the parent is inherited by the child automatically unless and until we don't want it to do that so for example over here you can see that for example if I set if I go to my CSS file and I set the body and inside the body uh, selector I say color as red okay you will see that it's applied to all of them by default because they are all children of body okay so the next level is inheritance inheritance now CSS also allows you to force inheritance for example something defined is defined for the parent but I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but I want to apply the same for example over here let's say uh, let's say this is the parent. you know UL is the parent of LI so and, and the ID is summer drinks over here the ID for this is summer drinks so let's let's say I want to say hash summer drinks and then inside that I say color as green okay now later on when I'm defining something for let's say favorite as you can see as you can see favorite is actually the child's favorite the class favorite is actually the child of this parent now suppose whenever I define something for the favorite I don't want to define a color for it I just want to borrow the color from the from the parent I can do that by actually leaving it as it is but you can also in forcefully inherit something from the parent by saying color and there is a property that comes along with it which by default says inherit so inherit actually forces whatever is defined for the parent will get it from the parent and apply it over here so you can see that although it's there I can actually apply it like this over here okay so I'm just inheriting the value from the parent
So this is inheritance. Inheritance actually happens by default, but you can also forcefully, if you don't know what the what color was defined for the parent, if you have a CSS with, which is too long and you want to borrow some style what is defined for the parent, you can just use the the value called inherit for that property. After that, one level above it, we have order. Order means the order in which the rule is defined. This is we saw this in the previous screencast that for example if I have if I have two rules applying to the same the same I same uh, element the one that is and they are of the same weight same weight then the one with uh, defined last is selected so for example over here I can say I, I can define a rule for let's say li li hash summer drinks space li or hash sa or I don't know I, I have to make it to the same weight because it's over here it should be the same weight okay okay let's let's do something like this let's say for example I say li dot favorite li dot favorite and I can also put something as this which is dot favorite ul space dot favorite if you remember in the law in the previous screencast I told you when I don't put the space that means li with the class favorite and if there is a space that means under it now if you see both of them apply to the same same element over here which is this item so now if and the weight is same so if you calculate the weight for this one it is this is 1 and this is 10 which is 11 and again this is 1 and this is 10 which is 11 so now I can change let, let me see which one is applied over here let's say I, I'll say this as uh, blue and this one as purple okay so now you see that when I'm done with this, uh, done with this let's see because both of them have the same weight I'll go for the order the order means the last one which is defined will be applied so if I go back and see that over here you can see that this is color purple this is color purple over here okay so that's 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 the order part of it specificity we already saw that in the previous screencast explained in detail if you don't know what specificity is you can go back and watch that screencast and just to show you just to tell you the basic specificity it means that every rule as we did over here just now that every rule has a weight and that weight is calculated based upon a weight given for all the basic selectors which is one for our it one for our element and 10 for class and 100 for the ID selector and then we just add them all together and then we calculate the weight and the more specific or the more higher the value that is the one that will be applied to okay but now over here let's see that uh, what we have over here is after specificity after we saw specificity the next one is inline in the first screencast we saw that there are three places where we can define CSS one the first method was defining something inline the second method was defining something in, inside the style which is embedded and the last one was in an external style sheet so inline has a higher priority for example hi, more higher than even specificity so even if you even if you define something much specific to an item and if you have something inline which ha it has more priority than specificity so you can see there for example over here if I go back and decide to put the style attribute which is for inline and then say color and then decide to put orange over here okay I have to decide to put orange and then close it I'd say if I say something like this you will see that when I go back it changes its color to orange because it has a higher priority in the tree okay the highest one the highest one among all of these is importance importance the highest one among all of these now a little 
clarification that if you are uh, taking the course you will see that this is not quite diff not quite the one that is included in your slides you said that inline is higher than importance uh, that was a mistake uh, after re reading many uh, literature literature on this topic I found that importance has a higher priority than inline so you, you may just correct that from your knowledge and then we'll see that for example important means there is there is a, a a keyword that can be applied for example now you see orange is applied no matter so but the problem is I don't want orange to be applied I want to say that purple should always be there so there is a keyword called important you you start the keyword with uh, an exclamation mark and then say important beside it so this is the way you say something as important so if you put something as important I'll just go back and see that it again changes back to purple because important has the highest priority so important has the highest priority so this is this is the cascading tree if something is defined as important it will be the one that is applied if nothing is defined as important then I look for inline styles if not if there are no inline styles then I look for specificity I look for rules which are more specific if I don't find anything specific or I find rules which have the same specificity then I look for the order the one that is defined last is the one that is selected okay so there's no conflict between orders because order is always sequential so at least one has to apply but in case that I have not defined a rule for that for that selector then I will look for its parent I'll, I'll take the value from its parent if also the parent has no defi style defined for it then I go back to the browser now browser always has a style for every element defined uh, described in detail by default so that is the one that is applied at last so these are all author defined styles and this is the browser defined styles okay so hope this is clear this is how it goes this is why it's called cascading style sheets cascading style sheets it starts from the top and it cascades to the bottom if nothing is applied it goes to the next if nothing is applied it goes to the next and it keeps on going until it reaches the end so this is the cascading the ca the cascading tree of css